If we look at history of medicine, we see that personalized medicine, in its truest sense, was actually practiced for centuries before we stumbled upon this organ uh, or disease-centric approach. The way we practice personalized medicine in the ancient past was true to its meaning. The village healer or the healer of the tribe would actually go to the patient's house and examine the individual, not just the individual, but he would examine the individual in relationship to his environment. So not only he is examining the individual, examining the patient, he's examining the surroundings in which he, he's living. He's also asking other questions like lifestyle questions, his diet, and, and uh, sometimes he, he is even looking at his, reading his palm. Uh, he's looking at his uh, horoscope, for instance. Uh, he's talking to his family members. He's, he's even taking his dream analysis. Uh, he, he's doing a lot of, in other words, he's taking a lot of variables into consideration. And when he's done with his analysis, uh, he would go back to his home or the clinic and he would um, prepare medicine, the concoction, with just this patient in mind. So he would go grab uh, herbs and mix it up and add some chemicals to it, prepare a concoction by that evening usually. And the patient would come and pick it up and the, and the physician would say, use this, this is what I prepared for you in mind, specifically you in mind, and do not give it to anybody else, even if they had similar symptoms or similar health problems. This was personalized medicine to its core, practiced in the ancient past. And when we look at what's happening now, we see population statistics, not personalized medicine. The, the one wonders why, why we move from such a personalized medicine to what we're practicing now, which is again based on hope and prayer and so on and so forth. There was a huge limitation for practicing the personalized medicine the way they practiced it in the ancient past.